morning everybody welcome back to the channel I, I was on the phone to my uh, grain seller this week and he was talking about this crop and so I just thought I'd give you a bit of a, uh, a follow-up because I, I'm thinking it is a rare that you get such a clear example of uh, biology in action so um, this is a crop of Lennox it was a spring sown we would like to sell it as a so it as a splexy wheat but we didn't get the opportunity this year it was too wet so uh, it follows a cover crop a mustard vetch cover crop and here you can see modeled by my dog it is very short okay and we are talking we are talking mm, eight inches 12 inches something like that we are on a tram line here but it is consistently short so this has it did have it was under stress it hasn't had a lot of nitrogen I will say that it hasn't it's only had about uh, mm, 60 kilos of N and it was under stress in the drought when it got its first growth regulator of Clormaquat modus and uh, that had a big effect I will show you some footage of that strip at the end which shows you the difference between having the growth regulator and not so here we are in that corner six eight inch wheat coming up to here bam a line it is quite clearly another six or eight inches taller we're talking from here uh, let me try and get from there all the way up to there there to there and that is the difference of the first growth regulator during stress conditions but what is really interesting is I am only about 20 yards away now so previously I was standing about there about 20 yards away this crop here is a good it, ch it changes but I would say mid thigh here it is really quite an exceptional crop and again still only the 60 kilos of N this side of the line this side of the footpath this side has also had uh, medax uh, a second application with a medax growth regulator so this has had two growth regulators whilst the short sides only had one and the only difference is an old fence line that used to be here this side has been in permanent pasture for um, oh, probably 20 years and has had a low input very rarely had fertilizer no agrochemicals and I don't think this has anything to do with uh, organic matter this is microbial or biological activity we are on relatively strong soil here so, so you wouldn't expect uh, to see much activity or much difference on um, on an average year but on a droughty year like this it really has become quite obvious so it's rare that you get examples like this but I think it's worth taking note of now it's worth mentioning why am I concerned about this well of course yen shows quite clearly a direct correlation between uh, biomass and yield potential so effectively by limiting the biomass of the crop we are also limiting its yield potential so because we have yield sensors on our combine that help us map yield as we as it drives across the field what I will try and do is come back to this field after we have the combining data and show you the yield map and what response yield response this has caused morning everybody okay so today I'm currently standing in a field of barley and uh, this is the hills block that uh, we pay special attention to I'm gonna show you a little bit of video of me walking through the crop which shows you the 
um, variable establishment or the patches that we were getting uh, is still there at harvest uh, there was no catch up so that's quite disappointing and actually it was something that was summarized in our crop planning meeting which we had this week and we've basically come to the conclusion that spring barley doesn't like our, our direct drilling system so last year um, as in harvest 19 we managed to get a mid-winter soil movement into the plan uh, we waited for a frost and then just did a light springtime cultivation in the middle of winter I think the combination of that and probably nitrogen down the spout would help this initial establishment so some that's something we're certainly considering putting in as a farm standard rather than just simply direct drilling which is what we've used in the past so um, fingers crossed we can uh, make some improvements and uh, let's hope next week I plan to go through the findings of our crop planning meeting with you show you what our yields were, what the conclusions were about our Harvest 19.